Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Elite Sports Shooting. My name is Jeff. Today, we're down at the range and we have the Stoger P350, three and a half inch, 12 gauge shotgun. But before we get going, if you haven't yet clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and do so. We have a lot of videos, we have a lot of content, and if you like the, the content of the video, uh, at the end of the video, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below as well. I will also put a link to the products that I use uh, as well. As always, I do promote the Googaloosa gun sock. It's something I believe in. I have them on every shotgun and I have a plethora of, of extra ones just because I borrow uh, uh, shotguns from other people and I usually, when I give it back, I, I just give them one or two others. I do all, I did also, because Googaloosa did sell out, I did buy some gel C's. So I did do, I did add that to another video, but uh, the gel C's were a little bit more elastic -y, so I could actually put them over my rifle with my scope on it. It's just a, a hunting rifle. You might be able to use it for like more of an AR, like a like more of the combat style rifles. I don't know, I don't have one, but it fit over my rifle perfect. And it also fits over top of the, uh, over all over my shotguns as well. Now, anyways, so the Stoker P350, I've done a couple of videos. The, I did a review in my shop as well as I did do a range review on it. And I was having some light strikes. There was issues with my, with my, uh, with, with this shotgun. It just had uh, misfires, several misfires. It was like almost almost up to thirty percent out of a hundred. So thirty out of a hundred that that was pretty bad. So, anyways, I took it home. I did some cleaning on it, and then just before I came here, I was like, I'm gonna clean that bolt again in the bolt carrier and and uh, just kind of give it a quick a quick. So it probably took me like three three minutes to disassemble this pull the bolt out and and the slide everything we'll give it a wipe down uh put some uh i actually use this g96 gun treatment i i like that stuff the best myself but uh anyways so what we're going to do is just going to put a few rounds down uh down range i have shot quite a few uh, i've gone through an entire box of clays already so and about uh, seven or eight boxes of ammunition. But anyways, I'm just going to put a few rounds down range. And another reason why I love this thing is this is part of, uh, of the of how it absorbs that recoil. It just blows that bolt open just a little bit on the larger rounds. I'll show you here in a second, but uh, uh, on the larger rounds, blows that bolt right, right back, just right back. So anyways, I'm gonna show you that real quick. We're gonna go a three inch Magnum and it's a Challenger and the muzzle velocity is 1,550 feet per second. I do like the Challenger rounds. And it literally just blew that bolt back right open. I usually just put my hand here as a guide and it shot that bolt right open like it was a semi-automatic. We'll do it one more time. See if you can see it. Beautiful. That's why I wanted to give this another chance, uh, clean it a little bit better. Uh, there's just a couple more steps that I would that I would do if I was if I needed to rely on this to go hunting, I would probably clean it right before I went hunting. Taking this disassembling this only takes a couple of minutes, and to clean that bolt area, no problem. So if that's something that I have to do, 
then that's something I have to do. I really like this shotgun. I love the high vented sight rail. Uh, I love how it, uh, it, it, it accepts some of that recoil and just doesn't launch it right back into my shoulder. So um, would I recommend this to a friend? Absolutely. But I would actually mention that. I'm actually looking at a semi-automatic version of the Stoger, the M3500, which is, it, it looks pretty nice. And uh, I do like, they got two versions. There's a competition version with a 24 inch barrel. And then it's got the more hunting version. It's got the Realtree Max 5, as well as the, we'll call it the blackout version, the, the black composite stock and foregrip. And it's pretty nice. It is pretty nice. But I do like the over, oversized controls on the, um, on, the, uh, on the competition version really looking forward to to uh to shooting those but uh, anyways that's it for me if you have any questions or comments leave them below if you haven't yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button and if you like the content of the video hit that th give me that thumbs up that like button i really appreciate it and everyone always remember to keep both eyes on your target thank you everyone